Hi guys and welcome back to another hip film tutorial. This week we're joined by Tony from NX Visual Studio to show you how to create some abstract topology design. Now this can look really awesome when done correctly so we'll let Tony show you how. Hi, I am Tony from NX Visual Studio and what you have seen in front of you is heavily inspired by the graphics design elements from Deus Ex Mankind Divided and we'll be doing something pretty close inside of HitFilm. HitFilm Pro has integrated the interchangeable file format Alembic into the render engine which is a file format used by animation professionals and is a standard for model animation. This standard is also available in other 3D software but in this tutorial we'll be using 3D Studio Max. If you've never used the software before, don't worry, it might look intimidating or overwhelming, but I assure you what we were doing is pretty straightforward. Ok, so the first thing we want to do is change the frame amount inside of 3D Studio Max. For this tutorial, it's important we match your project frame rate and time. In HitFilm, I have the frame rate set to 30 frames per second and a default length of 30 seconds overall. So head down to the time configuration icon. Under animation length, set this to 900 and click OK. Now the overall length matches out of HitFilm and the Alembic file will be in sync with HitFilm's project settings. We'll start by making a plane, so under object type, click plane and on the grid, hold left click and drag the cursor to the other side of the grid and then let go. Under length and width segments, set both of these to 30 and change the plane's colour to a mid grey. On the tab section, click the modify icon, modify list, scroll down until you see noise and select. Select the Fractal Check button, and then push on the Z Strength toggle. As you can see, the geometry is starting to displace in relation to the noise map. Set this to round 3, and then select the Animation Noise checkbox. Next, select the Auto Keyframe button at frame 0. This will automatically set a keyframe to start of the timeline. Advance to frame 900, and in the Phase toggle, set this to round 50. Deselect the Auto Keyframing button and head back into the Modifiers. Look for Smooth and select. This is going to remove the smoothing groups by default until a group is selected, but for this we specifically want this to remain unchecked and will give us a cool triangle effect on the topology. Head back into the noise modifier, head down to scale toggle and shift this value down to around 5. In the curve editor, to the left is the hierarchy for the world objects, or in comparison this will be layers inside of HitFilm. Go down to the modified objects, select noise, and then select phase. This will bring up our keyframes. By default the keyframes are set to curve, and this is something we don't want otherwise the animation will gradually speed up and slow down. Highlight each keyframe and set the interpolation to linear. Close the editor, head back into the modifier list and look for tessellate. Make sure that the tessellation modifier is underneath the noise modifier. To finish this up, head back into the modifiers list and look for the bend modifier. Under bend axis, set this to X and adjust the angle to minus 35 degrees. This will just help us later on inside of HitFilm with setting up the camera position. It will help us to avoid seeing the topology or the edges from the outside. It also helps to make it appear more seamless. Now that we have the animation set up, it's time to export the model and the animation format ready for HitFilm to do its magic. Click the 3ds Max icon, export, make a new folder and name it something that relates to your project. Go into the folder, change the save as type to alembic.abc, save the file name as alembic animation and then hit save. Again repeat the process but this time Change the save type to obj, name the file as alembic model, and then hit save. Now that's done, head over to HitFilm and create a new project. Under template, set this to 1080p full HD at 30 frames a second. This ensures that HitFilm is properly configured to the alembic animation file. That's all we need to do, so head down to start compositing. Head up to Import, 3D Model, and select your OBJ model. Under the Materials, set the Specularity to Black, and the Diffuse to a dark grey. The red, green and blue values are set to 65, 
We could have done this in 3ds Max, but it's far easier to make these changes with inside of HitFilm. So hit OK and drag the model onto the timeline. Again import, but this time select the 3D model animation. Select the Alembic file and hit OK. Under the models hierarchy, under models, simply drag the Alembic file onto the animation container. Next insert a new camera into the scene, move closer to the model and turn off the floor plane. In the model's material properties, under receives and cast ambient occlusion, select both and then open the ambient occlusion properties. Set the sample radius to 1, the intensity to 35%, the depth scale to 5% and the blur radius to around 0 0.3. The next thing we need to do is position the camera and find a good sweet spot. Double click the scene camera and under controls, turn on the depth of field. Under lens, set the focal distance to around 500 and the blur to around 300. We can start adding some color to the model. So under the new layer, select the gray layer and head over to the effects panel. Type in a number four and look for the four point color gradient. Drag that onto the gray layer and head into its properties. Set the blend mode to soft light, the opacity to 70% and the color blend to around 5. These next steps are optional and it's down to personal taste. However I'm going to be using the colors of the HitFilm logo and then darken it down a tad. But from here on just make it your own. You could add some subtle glows, even adding the scene light to harden the model's surface area. This about wraps up for this tutorial. I am Tony from X Visual Studio and I bid you a good day. Thanks ever so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below as to what you'd like to see next. And remember to subscribe and we'll see you next week. Oh, bye bye.